Hey, what's up, guys? Listen, new information on Diddy. Y'all, listen, we got to be very quiet about this, careful about this, actually. The streets are talking, okay? Diddy is about to start throwing people under the bus to save himself. The streets are saying he is desperate to change the conversation. He is desperate to change everything that's been talked about since Thanksgiving. He thinks, and again, he thinks, let me be careful about this. He thinks that if he offers somebody else up to the media gods, that the heat will be taken off of him and what he did would pale in, conspir uh, in comparison. So I ask you, what's worse than traffic ring around the rosy? Yes, we, speak our, we are speaking in code. What's worse than everything Cassie alleged? Um, how about doing the same thing, but doing it to... Okay, let me just say this. There's a blind item out by Carl Marissa Roth. I'm going to play you the blind item, okay? This is all alleged. Nothing is confirmed. It made sense to me. I wanted to bring it to you guys and see what you think. And then I'm going to give other things that people have sent me. Shout out to Valerie. Um, shout out to Valerie Renee for putting this on my radar. I appreciate you so much, Mama. Y'all, let's get into this. First, I want you to listen to the blind item. All right, y'all ready? Let's go, because this blind item is deep. I'll give you more. Y'all remember that, that NAMBLA blind item that I shared here and then I got scared and removed it and then put it on my Patreon? Chris Stokes. Chris Stokes is next on the chopping block because of Diddy. Starting out with the related headline, Diddy's ex-head of security. Yes, I saved Cassie and other people as well. That's great and all, but you should have you should have gone to the police or you should have spoken up sooner, dude. The mogul slash wannabe rapper wants some of the pressure off of him, so is dropping names of other predators. First up is the record executive from the South and his group. The group's victims include a Y2K boy band and one of Ariana Grande's love rivals and her sister. Now, this is Chris Stokes, and allegedly it's it's been rumored that he is like literally the president of a NAMBLA chapter. You guys can Google NAMBLA. Um, but he founded Ultimate Group Record Label in 2000 and repped B2K, Omarion, Jenny Aiko, Marques Houston, IMX, and NLT, among others. Okay, so again, this is blind item. Nothing's confirmed. We're going to have to be very, very careful about this. How I'm just bringing you what people are saying. Now, consider this, right? A few people also tweeted and this is very important to know. A few people also tweeted, like Dan said, said the PD Light Beers really got together on this song. If you guys don't know, um, Puffy, Chris Stokes, and R. Kelly all got together to work on a song entitled Bump, Bump, Bump. Okay, hold on. Let me pull the lyrics up. All right, I'm back. I'm not reading B2K lyrics. <laughs> Girl, baby, turn around. Let me see that sexy body go bump, bump, bump. Come on, let's go. Come on, come on, let's go. Another one that's puffy. You know I like it when your body goes bump, bump. Listen, I'm not reading B2K lyrics. However, I will say, and this is something that we need to pay attention to. Again, I don't know if these are true. It, these rumors are true. I would think that Puffy is desperate to change the situation and throwing Chris Stokes under the bus would do that. Now, as to how likely Puffy is to be involved with something like this, I don't know. I don't have any first-hand experience. However, I have bought you a, compl a compl compilation of things that you might want to see, okay? First of all, Bump, Bump, Bump was a single by B B2K featuring P. Diddy. Oddly enough, it was in 2022. R. Kelly was the songwriter. R. Kelly was the producer. Okay. Chris Stokes, David, uh, 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 Chris Stokes, David McPherson, Katrina Skew, B2K, and Platinum Status were executive producers. Now, if you guys don't know, with Chris Stokes, nothing was ever proven. However, I do remember when Raz B went live to say this. He said he felt in danger. He felt that he was threatened by Chris Stokes. 
some he made claims that Chris things happened with Chris Stokes when he was too young mentally and physically to handle it, and it led him down a path. Here is Raz B. I want you to listen to this and just see how it makes you feel and what you think. Let's go. All day I've been trying to clear uh, miscommunications up, but I'm letting everybody know right now that, Joseph, I need you to call me right now. Because let me tell you, I don't feel safe. I'm in Kansas City. I'm at the Hilton Hotel. And I'm telling everybody right now, Rasby does not feel safe. Pull out an APB for Rasby in Kansas City. I don't feel safe. I don't feel safe. I'm telling everybody right now, I don't feel safe. What's up? What's up? What's up? Now, if you guys are wondering where that is from, Rasby literally shut down his portion of the B2K reunion tour because Chris Stokes was there. At one point, he was incredibly scared to even be in the same room as them. People are saying that Diddy is going to sacrifice Chris Stokes to the media gods so that he can get off the hook. But the thing is, right? You know that old saying when you dig... um a uh a, a grave for yourself you might as when you grip okay when you dig a grave for someone you might as well dig a grave for yourself well i mean there's a lot that's said about chris stokes you know young jock wrote said no chris no chris no rasby looking boy and people are like yo that's what he meant right People said that Chris Stokes' new claim to fame, to those who don't know, uh, is another religion that protects Pedialyte bears to the end. He says that Jehovah gets the glory. 2019, year of the winners. Jehovah leads my life. People are saying that is a rebrand. A lot of people said the only difference between R. Kelly and Chris Stokes is that Chris Stokes likes and he needs to be seated right next to R. Kelly in the penitentiary. Now, this is before we knew that Diddy exists. Let's also not forget that Misa Hilton Brim was not 18 when Puffy started dating her. And Cassie was also very uh, young, too. OK, now the interesting is going back to that thing about when you dig a hole for someone else, because if you were going to bring up or have your people, your PR agency, and I think it's ridiculous to think the puppy does not have a PR agency working for him, bring up somebody else's dirt so the media can be, the media storm can be on them. Shouldn't you make sure you don't have any dirt of your own? What am I talking about? Well, I don't know, but I know there's a few interesting things that happened with, um, uh, you know, with Puffy that has a lot of people scratching their heads. First of all, there's things that he said to and about Usher. Listen to this and let me know what you think. Hold on. Anyone needs to wake up and, I mean, damn, pause, but like, just that. I mean, I mean, back in the days when he was like 10 and I was a little bit older, his older brother, we used to fight over the, over the Frosted Flakes, you know what I'm saying, before pause was invented, you know what I'm saying, but it's my brother for real, we used to actually wrestle off of the, off of the Frosted Flakes because he used to always get up early. <laughs> we used to actually wrestle off of the all for the frosted place because he used to always get up early. <laughs> yo, yo, what the f did Puff just say? What the f Puff just said? Nobody's gonna count just for me. Puff just said we used to wrestle over the frosted flakes and we're streaming live. That was stupid. Listen, that was stupid. Listen. All right, so something, again, we gotta be careful about this, but I'm just bringing you guys the information. Again, you dig in that grave, allegedly, for Chris Stokes, but you just might fall in because baby, there are receipts everywhere. Let's look at a few other things, right? I moved to New York City 
and I lived with Sean Puffy Combs for a year. That's the crazy thing. Now, that yeah. was L.A. Reid's idea, right? We're sending New you over York to City. something called Puffy Flavor Camp. There you go. To learn <laughs> some Flavor Camp. Yeah, Flavor that's camp. what it was called. And you're going to go to Puff Daddy's. He's gonna In pre- the 90s. Do you understand what that's like? Puffy's place was like just filled with chicks and orging like nonstop, right? No, not really. Come I mean, on. but did I, hey, it was curious. I got a chance to see some things. Yeah, but you were 13. What were you I seeing? I went there to see the lifestyle. Right. And, and I saw it. And it was, and it was, <laughs> but I don't know if I could indulge and understand what I was even looking at. It was, it was pretty wild. It was, so nobody it was tried to, you know, some woman didn't come along. I didn't and, say that. Okay. I, I didn't but say that. <laughs> what I did say is that there were very curious things taking place. Uh huh. And I didn't necessarily understand it. Uh huh. Biggie Smalls was Biggie there. Biggie Smalls was there. Lil Kim, Craig Mack. All know, these people all are hanging these, around. All, yeah, man. Faith Evans. Jody C, Mary okay? J. Blosh. They ain't know nothing about this shit. Oh. <laughs> I was having a good time. You know what I mean? Does he have you doing any chores? Are you doing dishes at all? I mean, to keep you humble somewhat? Or are you just like, can you stay up till four in the morning with them and party? I mean, I could. I yeah. actually stayed up longer than them. <laughs> and, I, and, I what and do you have money? What's going on? I mean, I had like per diem. Yeah. Uh-huh. I, had, I had like, you know, what like a, a living. life. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. 14 years old. You're a dad now. Would you ever send your kid to Puffy Camp? Hell no. <laughs> so he never sent his kid to Flavor Camp. Let's look at something else that I thought was really, really interesting. Look at the body language and the eye contact between Diddy and Puffy. Hold on. I'm sorry, Diddy and Puffy. Between Asher and Diddy. Hold on. If I could only eat one food for the rest of my life. Mm. Mm. My favorite thing to eat. <laughs> yeah. I can't with y'all. <laughs> no, I'm saying I like fish puffy looks a little disappointed little disappointed the last thing i wanted to show you guys is justin bieber i know you've seen a lot of the videos but i think i found one video that hasn't been shown around a lot on youtube and i feel like it's pretty disturbing it reminds me a lot of the video with cassie and the fo's and it reminds me a lot of cassie's stories um, the way that they said that Puff allegedly liked to give people party favors and people would get turned out from those party favors. Um, yeah, let's go. Hold on, y'all. And this clip is definitely questionable. Definitely Watch questionable. Watch this one first. In there. You ever seen the movie 48 Hours? Right now, he's having 48 Hours with Diddy, him and his boy, um... They're having the times of their lives, like, 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 the, you know, where we hanging out and what we doing. Um, we we can't really disclose, huh? but um, it's definitely a 15 year old's mm-hmm. dream. Um, you know, I, I I have been given custody of him. You know, he yeah. signed the Usher. I'm signed Usher. Uh, I I had legal guardianship of Usher when when you know he he did his first album. I did yes. Usher's first album. I don't really yeah, I don't I have legal like guardianship of him, but for the next 48 hours. He's with me, so, um, and, and, and we're going to go full, buck full crazy. Mm-hmm. Going crazy. Crazy. I'm taking this out tonight. What you want to do? What you want to do over the next 48 hours? 48 hours. Let's go, um, are we going to, let's just go get some girls. Let's go get some oh, girls. God. Now, I'm not implying anything untowards. Far be it from me. But I am saying that. Cassie said that he, wo- and a lot of people said that he woos people with, la- like the gin, with lavish things such as jewelry, such as cars, such as promises of fame, okay? This is an interesting one that once Justin escaped, for lack of better words, training camp, that Usher said he wouldn't send his children there, but yet he sent somebody else's child there, Okay. Um, look at this interaction. The video I'm talking about is getting um hey, starting to act different, huh? You, 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 ain't, you ain't been calling me and hanging out the way we used to hang out. Well, I mean, you haven't. I mean, you try to get in contact with me, you know, through all my, you know, biz, you know, partners and whatnot. Mm-hmm. But you never really got my number, so. Right. Okay. My number? Yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm yeah. Tell you my number. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's five, five, five. Yeah. Yeah. So again, Usher's act. I'm not sorry. Justin Bieber's acting real nervous. He stuttered. I, I, it, it's weird in the way, like, Diddy was trying to bully somebody that's like half his height. 
But this is the video that's most disturbing. You know that video that's circling around with Justin Bieber, Odell Beckham Jr., Trey Songs, and Diddy's the one taping. I'm not going to show that one, right? But look at this video. It almost reminds me a lot of what Cassie said when Diddy kind of turned her out. Pay attention into this video. Make sure that you pause when you need to and zoom in. But the end is really going to get you. And just let me know in the comments what you actually think. I don't know if Kamala Saraf on TikTok is correct about what she's saying about Diddy um, and trying to do Chris Stokes. I could see something like that happening. But the only thing is, baby, you might you better big, dig a grave big enough for two. Watch this. Look at it from another angle. Yeah. Yeah. What y'all got to say about this? Again, Puffy's lawyers are allegedly out. PR firms, things are being pulled. Um, Roger Bond's Instagram got pulled back. It seems like the streets, what the streets are saying is true. And Puffy is pushing back against these narratives against them because he somehow thinks he has a few dollars. He can beat every case. But yeah, what are those... What is, yeah, let me know in the comments what you think. I think I'm going to drop one more video uh, tonight or I'll try to go live. Y'all, yeah, let me know what you think in the comments. I'll talk to y'all later. Be safe. And hide your, what's the thing? Hide your kids, hide your wives, hide your girls, hide your men. Everybody, just hide from Puffy. All right.